is up, mga kaizo? Hello, hello, my loves! Welcome back to my channel. I am Mama Gape, and this is ML Series Episode 10. For this episode, we will be discussing about text information and media. So without further ado, let's get started. Carefully examine the following pictures. If we examine the images, we can see that there is an improper use of language, confusing structure, and wrong spelling. Text provides the basic information of what a person wants to convey to others, the message he or she wants to send. However, if the text is not properly executed, it's possible that you will not be able to send the right message in the right tone. Typographical or grammatical errors may send a different message. Also, pag mali yung paggamit ng language, it can send a different message. That is why if magpuproduce tayo ng isang text information and media, it should be properly executed and it should be consistent sa kung anong gusto nating isend the message sa ating audience. Tama ba yung message na natatanggap ng audience mo? Or tama ba yung emotion or feelings na mararamdaman ng audience mo because of your text? Text, information, and media. We've been using the word text since the introduction of this episode, but what is text? Text is a simple and flexible format of presenting information or conveying ideas, whether handwritten, printed, or displayed on screen. Basically, a text is a combination of letters. So technically, text information and media is the use of words, letters, or any written outputs as a media content. Now, text can be used as visual. Text is the easiest way of communicating to your audience. Kung hindi ka marunong mag-draw or hindi ka marunong mag-produce ng images, you can simply write your text or send your message through what? Through typefaces. Typefaces are representation or style of text in digital format. So there are different typefaces and each typeface is used for a different purpose since they send a specific message or a specific mood. Now first is the serif. A serif denotes formality and readability in large amount of text. It is usually used for the body text of books, newspapers, magazines, and research publication. A serif gives a classic and elegant look for titles and headings. Examples would be Times New Roman, Garamond, Baskerville, or yung mga may lines yung edges nila. Yung serif, ito yung usually nakikita natin sa books or magazines or newspapers, yung body nila, yung articles mismo because it signifies formality at saka mas mababasa siya in a large amount of text. Pag sinabi kong serif, ito siya. Ito yung serif. Meron siyang lines sa edges niya. Next naman, meron tayong tinatawag na sun serif. It brings a clean, minimalist look at the text. It is used for clear and direct meaning of text such as road signage, building directory, or nutrition facts in food packages. So yung sun serif, it is more on minimalist and it gives a modern look and is primarily used in web design. So examples of sun serif would be Arial, Tahoma, Verdana, or Calibre. Ito yung mga mostly mga default fonts. So technically, sun serif, ito yung opposite ng serif. Kung yung serif, meron siyang lines sa edges. Ito namang sun serif is wala. So kung ito yung parang lagay natin, uh, serif. Yung sun serif, ang gata ng... <laughs> yung sun serif ng A would be like this. Just like that. Wala siyang lines sa edges. Third typeface is the slab serif. A slab serif carries a solid or heavy look to the text. It can be used for large advertising sign on billboards. So example of a slab serif would be Rockwell, Playbill. Parang serif siya, yun nga lang. The typeface is heavier or bolder. It is usually used in billboards or advertisements on, on billboards because it gives more impact 
to the audience. Yet classic and formal pa rin yung approach. Fourth is the script. It draws much attention because of its brush-like strokes and it must be used sparingly or not to be used in large body text. So script is usually used in wedding invitation cards for debuts or other formal events. Example of a script would be Edwardian script, monotype, do see the handwriting. So yung script dapat ginagamit siya sa heading parts lang. Wag tayong gumamit ng script type faces sa body text ng isang a newspaper or sa magazines kasi hindi siya masyadong mababasa. So if you want to look classy and formal na may konting arte, use a script type face. And lastly, we have decorative. It caters to a wide variety of emotions or themes. Examples would be curls, giddy up, rosewood, joker man, chiller. Depende sa kung anong emotion na gusto mong i-imply sa audience. So again, the different type faces are serif, sans serif, slub serif, script, and decorative. Once again, all of these type faces vary in their purpose or whatever emotion you want to imply to your audience or to your reader. Pag pumipili tayo ng gagamitin nating typeface, make sure that it represents the message that you want to send. Now, text information media also has advantages and limitations just like the people media. Advantages, it is relatively low cost as or madali siyang iproduce kasi nga affordable. You don't have to spend so much. It presents abstruse concept effectively. It clarifies other media. Because sometimes videos or images can be ambiguous. So it's better to follow them up with a text to clarify your message. It administers affection and it is easily changed and updated. Pagka nagkaroon ng problema, madali lang siyang palitan. <gasps> Aray, madaling palitan. Text information and media also has limitations. It is less memorable than other media, especially the visual media, because it takes a lot of time and effort to memorize text. My gosh. It requires consideration from the user. Because my effort there, it takes patience, patience, and patience to understand a certain text media. Also, it can be bulky. Now, how do we produce a text information and media? Or what are the design elements and principles of text information and media? Ito yung mga dapat natin sundin or isalang alang when we are producing a text information and media para mas maging effective siya sa ating audience. First is emphasis. Emphasis is the importance or value given to a part of the text-based content. How do we give importance to a certain part of a text-based con text content? By making the text bold, make it larger, or provide a different color. How your audience will receive the information will be based on how you produce or you give emphasis on the text. For example, in these three examples here, we can see that there are three different parts emphasized on each image. So the first, the word I was emphasized. So that means I love you. Ako yung nagmamahal sa yo. In the second part, we have I love you. Mahal kita. Hindi lang kita gusto. Mahal kita. Third, we have I love you. Ikaw yung mahal ko. Hindi siya. So it depends on how you emphasize a certain part of the text-based content. Next is appropriateness or how fitting or suitable a text is used for a specific audience. For example, what you want to send is a feeling of fear. Pero ang ginamit mo ta joker man. Hello? Again, typefaces should represent the mood of the text or the message. Sa so appropriateness, din pumapasok yung paggamit natin ng color. For example, the text is, This is a horror story. Pero ginamit mong font, Joker Man, plus the color is yellow. Would your audience receive it as a horror story or not? So instead of using Joker Man in yellow, use Chiller as a font style and make it red or black. Third design principle is proximity. Proximity means how near or far the text elements are from each other. Kung gaano siya kalayo or kung gaano siya kalapit. Proximity as a design principle is very important because distance tells you kung may karugtong pa ba yung isang text or kung ano yung karugtong niya. Unless it's your purpose, wag mong hayaang mabitin yung audience or yung readers mo or bigyan mo pa sila ng sakat sa ulong hanapin kung ano yung karugtong ng message. Fourth is alignment. 
or how the text is positioned in the page such as left, centered, or justified. So, dito na yung align left, align right, center, or justified. Next, we have organization or the conscious effort to organize the different text elements in a page. Meaning, it is kung paano mo ayusin yung mga elements para hindi maguluhan yung audience mo with the information that is inside a page. Sixth is repetition. It is the consistency of elements or unity of the entire design. Dapat sa pagpili natin ng typefaces, ng color, or kahit sa alignment, consistent, hindi yung paiba-iba. As much as possible, use a maximum of three font styles or typefaces. Maximum ha, maximum. Walang lalagpas ng tatlo. Kasi if you use so many typefaces and so many colors, you will overwhelm your audience. Magugulan sila, masyadong complicated yung content. Unless you're making a collage, wag mong paghalo-haloin, girl. You are supposed to create a text-based content, hindi database ng typefaces. Okay? And last design principle is contrast. It creates visual interest having two elements that are different from each other. So if you are using a dark font color, then your background should be light. If your background is dark, you should use lighter font color. Also in contrast, you can make use of different typefaces, but sabi ko nga, only use a maximum of three typefaces. So for example, if in your heading you use a script typeface, yung body should be either sans serif or serif. Hindi yung headline mo script tapos yung body mo script pa rin, pero ibang font style, di ba? So again, the design elements and principles in producing text, information, and media are emphasis, appropriateness, proximity, alignment, organization, repetition, and contrast. Always remember that the use of different typefaces and the way we follow design elements and principles will all depend on what message we want to imply to our audience. So, pag nagproproduce tayo ng isang text-based content, isipin muna natin mabuti ano yung mga gagamitin natin at kung paano natin ito gagawin. Because how we produce these media contents will decide kung paano tatanggapin o paano unawain iintindihin ng audience yung message na gusto nating isend sa kanila. It will all depend on how we make use of text, information, and media. So, that's it yo guys. I hope that you have learned something from me today and you have grasped the basics of producing text, information, and media. Sana gamitin nyo yung knowledge na nag-gain nyo ngayon into something more relevant and, and beneficial sa society. That is it for our episode 10. Keep safe and I hope that I will see you next time.